welcome back to another video. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I do to get ready for a content day. So today is Friday. I usually do a content day on Saturday. So I just wanted to talk you through what I do to get ready. I'm going to do my tan, my hair, my makeup, that kind of it. A transformation pretty much. So I'm sure you've already guessed. I'm going to start with tan. I just had a shower exfoliated, moisturized my face and I'm going to pop my tan on. So at the minute I'm using the Bebo Super Spritz. I absolutely love this. It's a one week tan and also it dries so quickly and I'm going to let it develop all day and then I'll shower it off tonight. So I'm not going to talk you through this. I have a video up which I'll link below on my tanning routine. So you'll be able to see what I do there. So I'll be back to you in a couple of minutes. Okay, so I have my tan done. I'm definitely feeling a bit more like myself. I don't blend in with the wall anymore. I have recently stopped putting it on my face only for the reason that... I'm actually not doing anything like if I had an event or if I was going somewhere I love tanning my face I always tan my face even if I'm at work I like to have my face tanned but because I'm just at home I just thought I would give my like, face skin a break but no other reason I always put that tan on my face and I love it so I'm gonna let that develop for the day I'm gonna wash it off later and then I'll be back to you tomorrow to show you what else I get up to to get ready for my content day one other thing that I do that I've already done before I did my tan was I like to wash my makeup brushes. Thankfully, I didn't wear any makeup during the week, only from like my last content day. So I only had literally a handful of brushes to do. So I'll show you them now they're in the other room. I use the blank canvas brush washer. It's actually in my last vlog um, in my makeup favorites, but I use that. It literally takes two minutes to wash my brushes. And yeah, I'll show you those now and I will catch up again with you tomorrow. So it's the next day now, I took a shower last night, washed my hair, washed off my tan. Um, I know my hair is an absolute mess right now. I went to bed a little bit wet, so ignore that. We're gonna do our hair in a little while. But did I just say do our hair? Do my hair. So for now, I'm just gonna tie it back and we're gonna start my makeup. Okay, so I'm just gonna clip these wee bits back. And I'm gonna time lapse this. And then I'll come on afterwards and just talk through what I put on my face. I also think my tan turned out really nice. I just wanted it like natural, not really like too dark. Okay, so my makeup's done. I think the time lapse was probably really bright. I had my camera on the wrong setting, but this is it. Just the finished look. Isn't it funny that all your makeup literally runs out at the exact same time? Like I need to pick up so many things. But anyways, what I'm gonna do now is just talk you through what I put on. I just thought this would be way quicker than me talk and do my makeup and showing you what I do because I'd probably be there all day. So I'm just gonna do a quick run through of what I just put on my face. Okay, so for foundation, I used the Carter Beauty Full Measure. I mixed two shades, so I mixed Creme Brulee and Banoffee together. And then, whenever I do content, I like to have a real glow on my face. So I mixed those foundations with the Be Bold Oh My Gold as well, just to kind of give it like a more dewy look. 
and I love doing that. And the only concealer I ever use is the Catrice Camouflage. I use that in the shade two. Then for cream contour, I spoke about this in my last video. I use the Flor Mar Contour Stick in shade three. Nope, shade two. Then I went on and I used the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Then to powder under my eyes and everywhere on my face to be honest. I use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is amazing if you've not tried this. It is so, so good. And it kind of gives you like a airbrushed finish. I love it. For bronzer, I use this one. It is an English. I think it's, let me just double check. Yeah, it's shade 73. And then for blush, I use this Fuchsia blush. So sad, Fuchsia is no more. I love them. For highlight, I use the MAC Soft and Gentle, Pinky, and my go-to, I love this as well. For my brows, it's a bit of a mashup at the minute, just because I feel like I haven't discovered a new brow product yet, and the one that I always use isn't being sold anymore. So what I use is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Kit, but the powder of this is gone. So I like this kind of wax because it was the same shade as the powder. So I use the wax first to like carve out my brows, and then I'm using at the minute this Fuchsia Brow Kit, and this is a powder, and I use the powder to fill it in. And then I use the NYX Brow Gel. For my eyes then, I just wanted to keep it really simple today. I'm not taking any like selfie photos, so I didn't really want to go too fancy with my eyes. I just was feeling a bit lazy. So all I did was get my bronzer and run it through my crease. And then I got this Rimmel pencil. I actually took it on a brush and just gently lined the top eyelid. Like, I don't even think you can notice it, but it just kind of gives a little bit of definition. Then I popped on my mascara. I'm just using an Essence one. I need to pick up mascara because it's really running out. Then for lips, I actually talked about this as well in my last vlog, but I'm using a very well used Penny's lip liner. Don't even ask me what shade this is, but it's kind of like a pinky mauvey color. Then I use the Huda Beauty matte lipstick in Girls Trip. And then over the top, I use this little Clinique gloss in the shade Air Kiss. And that's literally it. Nothing too wild. Um, I hope you can see it. I feel like the light is a little bit weird here. But, okay, let me zoom in. So nice and glowy. I don't know if you can see that. Natural eyes. So what I'm going to do now is my hair. And I'm thinking of doing the little bubble bubble pigtails so what i'm gonna do is just quickly hop off the camera and like roughly straighten my hair and then i will be back to show you how i do the bubble braids okay so i very very roughly straighten my hair i just kind of concentrated on the top and i'm gonna do the bubble braids i think i said that about five times but i'm just gonna start off by like putting my hair into two so my parting's like really far over so i'm just gonna use a little back home brush and like part it down the middle in hopes that it's straight. <laughs> so first I'm going to part my hair into two piggy tails and I'm just using these like clear elastics. Do I put it over my ear? Yeah I'm going to put it over my ear and tie her up. And for this side I'm going to just like part out my fringe because I just kind of want a little bit down at the front. And I'm just gonna clip that out of the way. Guys, how excited are you to have the hairdressers open again? It's like slightly annoying for me because when the hairdresser's back, I'm back because I'm a beautician. So I'm not gonna be able to get my hair done straight away, but I'll be glad to be back at work. Now, literally all I'm gonna do is just place a bobble, probably I'll do probably like three and have them even on each side. So that's all the bottles in. I'm just gonna like poof them a little bit so they have a little bit more, like they're not as flat looking. Poof, poof, poof. Like, and don't be afraid to pull these because they're not really going anywhere. Cute. Like how is this hairstyle only thing now? It is so flipping cute. I have these little clips too and I'm thinking while well, I put some in. Oh 
Okay, and now I'm gonna get changed all ready. So I just put on this little cow top. So cute, I got it on Sheen. I feel like it says so right, hold on now. So that is literally me ready to go take some content. I actually have no idea what I'm gonna shoot today. I haven't a clue. Maybe today will be the day that I venture outside to take photos on my own. That just sounds so scary to me. We'll see anyways. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video of me pretty much getting ready for content. Tan, hair, makeup, that's kind of it. Hope it wasn't too boring. Also, I got these clips in home savers. So don't forget to subscribe, give my video a big thumbs up and yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye.